Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Sea buckthorn, also called a sea berry, it is one of the best herb for our skin. If you search sea berry cosmetics, you will find many products. But which product is right for you? If you grow the sea berry, how can you extract the sea berry at home? And in this video, I will answer these questions and also show you the three ways to extract the sea berry. Sea berry is a little yellow berry grow on the stems of the tree, and a sea berry tree can be grown in a wider range of temperature. The fruits coming out are three years after the planting, and the wood is very strong and solid. But for the sea berry extract, the sea berry fruit and the seeds are the two parts being used. Sea berry contains over 190 bioactive chemicals which give the benefits to our skin. And within these chemicals, the fatty acids is one of the critical group. It also takes most of the percentage from the sea berry extract. Fatty acid has two groups. One is saturated, the other is unsaturated. Saturated fatty acid has a much better thermal stability. It's just like a vegetable oil we can use for cooking. Because of its thermal stability, it can cover our skin to reduce the loss of moisture. Unsaturated fatty acids plays many roles to give benefits of our skin, including anti-inflammation, the antioxidants and give anti-aging effects to the skin. Within the sea berry, there are wide group of uh, the unsaturated fatty acid from omega-9, omega-7, omega-6, and omega-3. The gamma linolenic acid, that is a gamma omega-6, and the alpha linolenic acid, that is a omega-3, there are 35% of GLA and 30% of uh, ALA. Both the GLA and the ALA are the essential compound to form the cell membrane. So that is important to build up the cell and keep the integrity of the structure. If we think our skin is like a sheet of sand, each cell like a one grain of sand, when we have a dry sand, the sheet of sand will be easy to crack just like our skin. The GLA works as a cement to keep the intercellular structure stable. And this is why it's important to keep our skin integrity and rigid. Besides, a GLA also plays a critical role for recovery of the skin from the inflammation, sunburn, or the tissue after the burn accident. Because of such wonderful benefits from the, all the bioactive ingredients within the sea berry extract, that's why it's been widely used for skin and the hair treatment and the protection. So where are the fatty acids can be extracted? They come from two parts. One is a sea berry fruit and the other is a seed. Both of these contains the saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, but they have a different combination. The oil from the seed has a more unsaturated fatty acid. The oil from the fruit contains a more saturated but less unsaturated compared with oil from the seed. The other major difference is the color. The oil from the seed has a yellow color. It's a lighter than the oil from the fruit. The fruit has a more darker color because the oil from the fruit contains more carotenoids. Carotenoids is rich in the carrot. It brings the orange color of that fruit. That makes the oil of the sea berry fruit have a darker color. Carotenoids has the benefits to blocking the UV and the radiation. It's a benefit as working as a sunscreen. So now we see the difference of the oil from the seed and the oil from the whole fruit. 
this part has more UV protection and uh, the oil from the seed has more unsaturated fatty acids. So now you know the difference, then you can choose the one based on what you need. So far I have talked about the extracts from the sea berry and the difference from its seed and fruit. Now let's talk about the extraction methods. There are three ways to extract the sea berry. The first one is a cold press. That's how the vegetable oil and juice can be made. The second way is to make a tea or tincture. These are easy and quick. So you can just simply make it without tools. And the third one is a hydro distillation. I would love to give you a demonstration of how to do the hydro distillation with the sea berry. And this can lead to the two products. One is a soup and the second is a sea berry hydrosol. Sea berry hydrosol has been proved has many benefits to reduce the pimples and help recovery of the skin marks. Now let me show you how to make it. By doing the hydro distillation, we will receive uh, two products. One is the hydrosol or essential oil separated from uh, the distillation. And the other part is those uh, the soup left in the pot. When you're using the uh, distiller, with time in the pot, there is a uh, can have some scales, the dirty stuff. But look at this, it's, this has been used for two years, it's like brand new. The secret is you just use white vinegar and pour it in there, you know, by heating up and boiling for 10 minutes, the vinegar will clean off all the dirty stuff and it's ready to make a soup. And I measured 100 gram of uh, sea buckthorn powder. This powder, I believe, from uh, the fruit and the seed all together. So what I do is just pour in the powder into the pot. You measure powder, use a paper plate. It uh, can make your measure and transport the stuff is uh, very easy. And now I have my one liter of uh, water, the filter water. So by doing the powder, by using the powder, I do one to 10, the ratio. So I just stir it. The steamer is empty, uh, that's for the steam distillation. And just uh, add a cold water in the condenser. I'm also gonna add an ice cube in there. And put uh, your collection cup down there. So the whole setup is ready, just start to eat. So always add a bit of water before the add uh, ice cubes. If you are new to distillation, don't worry. We have an app called uh, Lead Time Virtual Distillation. It's a free app available on Google Store and uh, Apple Store. You can just download it, play on your phone on your pad, on your computer, and uh, get an idea what is the distillation is, what is the main process, steps to make a good distillation. Then you got an idea virtually before you actually do the hands-on experiments. That kind of make uh, the, you know, your the first run more smoothly.
Now I collected the 300 milliliter. That is the three times of the powder I add in the pot. So I gotta stop the distillation. I gotta later on I'll show you the soup. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something new about sea berry and know how to pick the sea berry oil. Please like the video, subscribe the channel. And this is Dr. Leo at the Lee Time. See you next time.